Hi friends, this is Mohammad Jibran and welcome to Versi Language Tutorials. In this video, I will be explaining you about the <coughs> functions. So, uh, what are functions? Functions are basically group of statements which perform a particular task. You can call a function as a mini pro a mini program on its own. Suppose if you want to perform a particular task many time in your program so you don't want to write all those statements again and again therefore you will be writing a function to perform all those tasks so whenever you need them you will just go and call that function and it will does whatever you want to do the number of times you want it to do so to explain you more first open our compiler go to our uh, source file then uh, include the header files you might have heard me saying many times the main function yeah you heard it right the main is also a type of function so from here your program execution begins so how does your function looks it is it looks like this return type then the function name then opening and closing parentheses between them you have arguments okay so after that uh, this is known as your header of your function which has the return type the function name and the arguments if required okay you can leave this part but uh, these parentheses are must you have to give this parentheses then comes this braces and between them you write your statements whatever you want to write or whatever you want your function to perform so this is how your function looks this is the header and this is your body of your function and uh, return type means the value which your function will be returning after performing all those tasks suppose if your function is going to return an integer value then it is going to uh, it should be the return type of this function should be int if it is going to return a float value then the return value should be float if it is not going to return anything you are just going to say void that means it is not going to return anything and uh, you don't need to use these uh, angle braces okay you can remove them you, you just have to write the name okay this function name you can write this function name whatever you like but make sure this function name explains whatever you are doing inside this function because it is easy to understand what your function is doing whenever you are writing a good and a understood understandable name in your as your function name because you don't want to check all this function again and again to see what that particular function is doing so let me give this function as function one okay or uh, test test fun one okay so this will be my test function one but uh, for this uh, demo I will not be using any arguments I will be simply using the void function so I will remove all this and this in this function I will say printf test function when executed successfully okay so this is what I'm going to print in this statement okay then in my this function I will say test underscore fun one semicolon I will say get ch okay so what I'm doing over here is I'm calling my function okay or if you want you can remove this thing but let me keep it to make it more easy to understand what I am doing is I am uh, defining my function 
before my main function suppose if i write this line and uh, give us give a semicolon and i remove all those things then this is known as function declaration i am not defining my function just writing the function name and the return type with the parenthesis and a semicolon this will say that i am declaring my function but if i am writing all this that means i am defining my function then this is known as definition of a function when you are defining your function you don't need the semicolon so you can remove it but if you are not defining your function you are just declaring it so you have to add your function uh, add your semicolon over here and if you are defining you don't have to do that okay so now let me write it again now what i did i just defined it over here and i am calling my function over here this is known as calling the function i am calling my function in my test function in my main function okay so now let me run the program save it mm, semicolon i just forgot oh sorry you have to remove this i told you just now you have to remove that if you are defining your function test function 1 executed successfully you see we are just calling this function but this line also got executed okay so now let me write uh, something else i will say print f this is the main function okay and f sorry back to main function okay now run it again what happened oops semicolon 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 uh, just a second let me do it like this and, and uh, here also function right now you see over here this is the main function the first statement which got printed is the main function why because as i already told you your program execution begins from the main function so when your program start executed executing it came to your main function it printed this line and after printing this line it came and uh, saw your compiler saw that you are calling a function with the name of test fun 1 then it went back and searched for this function named as test fun 1 here it found that function and then it displayed whatever was written in that function after that when this function uh, was uh, ended up or and uh, executing it came back to the main function and it continue running it from this line okay then it printed this line you see back to the main function so this is how your function works and uh, suppose if you have one more function you say void test fun2 okay now there is another function a void fun2 and uh, i am going to say that print f now you are in test function 2 okay now i will call this function here okay i will say test underscore fun 2 uh, semicolon so if you run this thing oh uh, it's forgot again session now run your thing again check this out again your program ex execution begins from the your main function your first line will be this is my main function you can see this is my main function after that you call your test1 function and you go to the test1 function like this and there you found test1 function executed successfully second line will be test function1 executed successfully after that what you see is now you are in test function 2 how you went over there because after this line was printed your compiler saw that you are calling one more function that is test fun 2 and it went back to call this function okay so when he saw this function 
he just uh, went into it and it executed all what was written into it and after it went uh, it came back to this function and then it came over here and then it uh, come came out of this function and then went to the main function to end this all let me make it more clear uh, let me say what back to test one okay okay now if you run your program you can see first you went to the main function this is the main function then you went to the test fun one test fun one was here it printed this line this line was printed then it went to the test fun two test fun two was here then after printing this line now you are in test fun two it went back that means it came out of this function then it printed this line back to the test fun 1 back to the test function 1 ok it came over here after this function finished executing it went to the main function see it came out of this function then it printed this line back to the main function and it ended your program so this is how you run your program and you use the functions in it ok and uh, now let me show you some more things about your functions let me remove this ok now suppose you are calling your uh, this function you are defining your function after the main function let's see what happens it gives an error the error gives is the error given by the compiler is void test fun used prior to declaration I hope you, can, you are able to see now void test fun 1 used prior to declaration what it says when you double click it it comes and says over here what we are doing wrong over here is we are not declaring our function we are directly defining our function and we are calling it over here which is wrong because your compiler does not know what is test fun 1 so for that if you are defining your function after the main function you have to define them once or declare them once void test fun 1 okay. now semicolon you should give semicolon because you are not defining them you are just declaring them so now if you run it your program runs fine what happened was when your compiler after running all this bunch of header files and it came over here it saw this line test fun 1 but your compiler don't know what is the meaning of test fun 1 what to do with this statement so he prompted you an error but according to you you defined it or what is according to you the definition of your function you defined it over here after the main function but as you know your compiler will compile line by line so before going to this part it gave you an error so to remove that or to prevent such type of errors you have to first tell your compiler that buddy there will be something known as test fun 1 in your in your program and this semicolon this semicolon plays a very important role ok if you give this semicolon this semicolon will tell your compiler that there will be something known as test fun 1 used in this program whose definition will be given later on in this program but for the time being you just know that there will be something known as test fun 1 if you don't give this your compiler will prompt you an error so it's very important to declare your uh, functions before defining them if you are not doing them before the main function if you are writing them directly before the main function then you don't need to define and declare them separately just do it like this and your function works and now let's try to write a function which uh, takes uh, some arguments ok now I will say printf enter first number again we are going to add uh, two numbers ok scanf percent d I am going to store that in a okay 
let me just copy it enter the second number and I will store that in B now let me define integer a comma B so here I am taking two numbers from the user storing them in A and B and now I'm going to pass them in my function A and B okay so in my test fun one I will receive two variables I will say that I am I want to I'm expecting two variables from the main function and uh, in that I will again say a comma B or D comma E better I'll say a comma B I will explain you one more point then I will say a equals to X then B equals to Y then I will say printf the sum is percent D A plus B okay semicolon okay now what I am doing is I am just displaying the sum now let's run it this is the main function again okay. always alright now this is the main function enter the first number let me say 2 second number 3 the sum is 5 back to main function okay so what happened is in my main function I took the values of A and B then I passed those value into my test fun 1 how I said A and B I want to pass A and B then in my test function I expected two value from the main function which I got so my A value was given to my integer X and then my B value or the second value was given to my variable Y okay so after that these values were again passed to a and b my a value was again passed to x value which was uh, came from a had passed to a then my y's value has been passed to b you might question that we are uh, declaring twice the variable a and b and your compiler is not giving you an error the reason is the scope of these variables are only inside this main function you can use them or if you want to use them this function this variables a and b you again have to declare them that's why I have to declare them or if I want I can use other variables also but to explain you the scope I have to uh, use them then I added to the two numbers that's a and b the value in a and the value in b then I displayed it over here and then I return back so what happened in this program first value is 4 second value is 6 the sum is 10 back to main function so this is how you can write your functions again and again or suppose if you want to do this task again you can just copy and paste it over here and you can do it again let me just add one more statement printf slash n test function ok so now I'm calling my function two times first time over here and the second time after the back to main function ok now let me run it first value say 3 second value 7 test function the sum is 10 back to main function again we went to the test function the sum is 10 so you see you called your function twice you don't have to write all this thing again to add those thing again what you did you just call that function again to do all that stuff whatever you wanted to do and uh, now that was it for the functions I hope you understood the video and thanks for watching it